Hi, everyone. This movie is about improving the quality of line drawing in Photoshop. You may have noticed that some drawing programs produce smoother lines when you work with a Wacom uh, tablet or Cintiq. And in Photoshop, they don't work quite as well. Uh, there's a bit of a wobble to the lines. I'm going to show you uh, what I mean by this, and hopefully we can come up with some solutions to how to fix this. First of all, I'm going to um, use the brush tool and just create some straight lines by using the click and shift method. So I'm going to click, shift, shift, click, shift. Maybe put one over here at a higher angle, okay. So if we look at these, they're very straight. They're about as straight as they can be. Um, but if I use a ruler and the, using the uh, stylus in Wacom, it's on the Wacom Cintiq screen, and I use a ruler and try to draw these lines at similar angles, um, something else happens. So here I'm using a ruler. So it's gonna, it should be a straight line. I don't know if you can tell already. Uh, we'll zoom in in a minute just to look at it, but okay, I'm going to um, zoom in here and look at these. So the ones on the left here are the ones we did with the. Um, the click shift, the shift click method, and the ones on the right here are obviously have some wobble to them, even though they were drawn with a ruler. Um, I could set up to use the mouse because I, when I first found this, I, I thought that maybe it had something to do with the uh, the input from the uh, the tablet or the screen. In this case, with the uh, stylus, the Wacom Cintiq, and. Uh, but even with the mouse running against the ruler, these same artifacts happen. So you can see that right here and here, especially in this area here, there is a wobble. Let me zoom in and show you. There's a definite a wobble to these lines. One thing I noticed is that as the line gets closer to, to horizontal or vertical, uh, it gets straighter. So it has something to do also with the um, the angle that you draw. Uh, I'm assuming that this has to do with the smoothing of the lines and um, some programs have built-in smoothing algorithms like, uh, like Sketchbook Pro and uh, those lines look a lot smoother. Uh, you can also look at the uh, brush sets, and there's this feature within Photoshop uh, called smoothing. And as far as I can tell, it doesn't seem to do anything. So, but I keep it on just in case. But that's not the same thing as, as the kind of smoothing that um, Sketchbook Pro uses. So, I discovered that if you drew, I'm going to use the ruler again. Now, if you draw at a, I'm going to try to do two lines here. One I'm going to draw really slow. Oops, I'm going to uh, erase that. Hang on. Use black again. I'm going to do a very slow here. Okay. And I'm going to move the ruler over and do it fast. So some people have suggested that, well, I just draw really fast. And it does help it to draw very fast. You can see that, that um, this is smoother than this one here. So um, that does work, but really for the kind of drawing I do, sometimes I, I need to draw slowly. And um, drawing really fast is just not uh, a good solution for me. Plus, it should be able to follow this ruler and make an exact duplicate of a line. So what does this mean? That means that every time we... Uh, draw on the screen, it's corrupting the input from our hand. A lot, uh, 
I think a lot of people don't even notice this because they've never, um, they always always assumed that it was their the, their technique and their handwork that that mattered. Um, so, if you're drawing very slowly, or even slower than that. This line, without some help, is never going to look as smooth as um, you can hand draw it. So if you go back into a piece of paper and draw that line, that's it's not it's going to be better than this. Look at this, these little shakes in the line. So, and the other thing I noticed was that if you draw very far away. That is, uh, you draw when the screen is at a at a low resolution, um, further away in the sense that it's uh, zoomed uh, out to let's say twenty five percent, or or less than a hundred percent. It it the lines look wobblier, and as you zoom in to a hundred percent or even two hundred percent, it gets better. So for a long time, I just I tried to do all my fine hand work um, at two hundred percent. But this is a really uh, not a good solution because you can't really see the whole drawing and it's not really the way you would naturally draw. I'm also going to show you uh, what happens when you use a French curve and run the pen uh, along it. I'm running the brush against the French curve template and it should be perfectly smooth but it's just dreadful, the quality of the line. Let me redo that. And again, slowly and fast. Fast is a little bit better. Um, so the curved lines are, you know, also look terrible, not just the straight lines. So what's going on here? Is this an issue with uh, Wacom or is this an issue with Photoshop? I think the, um, the fact that the mouse, uh, when you run it against a ruler, um, and I think I want to just demonstrate that right now. I have a, um, a mouse here and I'm going to run it against a, a thick plastic straight edge. Hopefully I can align it properly here so it won't go off the screen. It's going to go like that. If anything, it's much worse. It's even worse. So um, running the mouse against the um, straight edge doesn't produce a straight line either. But the only way without to make a straight line in this situation is either to use um, the click shift technique, as we showed before, where you click shift, or to hold down the shift key and make vertical and horizontal lines. Um, these lines can never have pressure sensitivity to them. They're not going to be tapered if you have the right kind of brush that has a taper to it, which I, that's what I want to use most of the time. So um, that's not much of a solution. The other thing is to use um, uh, you know, grab the pen tool and make a path. And then once you have a path, let me get the, um, the PEF tool. I don't know where that is it. Okay, here it is. We could, let's say, draw a Bezier curve like this. Go into paths and tell it to um, run along the line. So you go and you you grab the you grab the the, uh, the work path down here and you hit this little uh, symbol the circle and the brush is going to uh, travel along there. Now you can set this to have fade, but it's only going to be faded on one end and it's not going to give you any control over the thickness other than that. So I think it's very good, but the line is very very straight and that's one solution. 
But the really the only um, really good solution is to use this plugin, and I've got to find it. It's called Lazy Nizumi, and right here, pull it out into the screen. It's called Lazy Nizumi Pro. It only costs like thirty bucks or forty bucks. And um, they've been developing this for quite some time, and now it seems that they've uh, got it working very well. So if I use the brush tool, let's say I'm going to draw a line without any smoothing on. And we did this before, relatively slow. And then I turn on even the, the lightest amount of smoothing. It's much better. Zooming in here, you can see it's a little wobbly, but not so bad. Um, this program can be set to many different levels. For example, it has these um, presets. There's one here called the pulled string, which if you really want to get rid of any kind of wobble, works great. And, it has, and in this case, I'm not showing the pressure because I don't have this. This brush has no uh, tapering to it at all. But it also helps smooth with that. So if we open up the um, and just get a regular pencil line like this, I can taper the line with a lot of control. Um, I'm going to go back uh, to the other the other tool. Just so we have a comparison, but it does work with pressure. So um, if you really want to get rid of the wobble, let's say we go back to the um, smooth and subtle. I'm going to um, make another layer on top here and close this one so we have more room to work. Uh, okay, so I'm going to put the ruler on the screen. Not that you need it, maybe, but and it's quite a bit better with the subtle, but if I really want it smooth, I can use um, the pull string again, which is set pretty high. I'm mean, going to turn it down. You can set all these sliders to different levels. And even very slow, it doesn't really do much wobbling. It's very straight. This plugin also has some other great tools, some of which I, I haven't used very much yet, but um, it has connected lines. Let's see, radial lines. So you can take this point and put it somewhere and draw with pressure. So again, we just go back and um, get a pencil line that has some some subtlety to it and I can draw my lines with very straight because that really keeps it incredibly straight but it still has the um, it still has pressure there's other things in here like an ellipse tool I'll just quickly show that um, And you can you can control like uh, the um, circles and ellipse, and you can make ellipses. Uh, right now, um, the degree can be changed, and the rotation. If you need to, and there's ways of doing that on the fly. Now it's not quite as good a setup as uh, Sketchbook Pro has, but you're working here in Photoshop, and that's a big advantage. So anyway, to cap this off, uh, this plugin is available on the net. You just have to look for Lazy Nizumi Pro. And it's a, uh, I think there's a trial version as well. But it's only for Windows right now, as far as I can tell. Um, but hopefully this, um, this little movie has helped you and gives you some uh, advice about how to deal with this issue and as well as maybe a little bit of peace of mind the the wacom product is working 
very well. It's uh, a lot of the issue is uh, Photoshop hasn't caught up with hand drawing on the screen yet. And this plugin, I think, is the way to go. So um, thank you for watching.